Talking Hope, breakthrough conversations about preventing, treating, and curing cancer. Brought to you by City of Hope, an NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. Hope lives here in Orange County. I'm Darren Godden, Chief of Staff for City of Hope, Orange County, and this is Talking Hope. Our guest today is Purveyor of Hope, Jessica Patel. Jessica is the Director of Diagnostic Radiology at City of Hope, Orange County, Lennar Foundation Cancer Center. Thank you for joining us today, Jessica. Thanks for having me. So Jessica, you are employee number 35, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? correct. Yep. Which means you joined City of Hope, Orange County about a year and a half ago, or about a year and a half before we actually even opened our cancer at a time where we were truly a startup and everything had to be built from the ground up um, and designed from the ground up. So I'd love to know what drew you to City of Hope and what drew you specifically to this role? Yeah, no, it's a a great question. And um, what a great opportunity to sit back and reflect on on the journey that we've been on over the last uh, almost two years. I'll have my anniversary at the end of the month. Um, But I guess what drew me to City of Hope was really the opportunity to create something for the community um, that would last long after I retired. Um, There's a really large need in this community for cancer specific care. Um, and you know what better opportunity than to get to build that from the ground up, utilizing the experiences that I've I've had over the years. Great. Have you always been drawn to the challenge of building something new or figuring things out, solving problems? Yeah, I have. Um, you know, I was always really big into puzzles. Um, my dad was actually an architect, so. Uh, I always loved looking at his drawings and, and seeing the buildings that that he did and, and all of his work. So um, it was something that uh, kind of spoke to me in, in that regard. Um, you know, my, my dad actually passed away from pancreatic cancer, pancreatic cancer um, about two years before we opened. Wow. So, um, so it's something that really was pretty personal to me and, and really something I felt like was um, put in front of me. Um, for a reason. Almost like a calling, right? Exactly. Like you're called here. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your dad. I know you've shared about that on in other avenues as well or other venues. Um, so that's probably your why as well, right? It really is. It is. Um, and, you know, I try to bring my perspective as a family member and what I saw my dad going through as a patient um, to everything we do here. So really keeping the, the patient and their family um, at the focus of, of what we do and how we do things. Wow. So you mentioned your dad was an architect and in many ways you've been allowed the opportunity to architect what imaging and radiology really looks like for City of Hope Orange County. So tell us about some of the exciting things that we have in Orange County and really how those are going to make a difference for our patients and their families. Yeah, absolutely. So imaging has really evolved a lot over the 20 years I've been doing this. Um, We started out with what we call the single slice CT scanner and the ones we have in the cancer center have can do 256 slices all at the same time. So, um, you know, the technology has really advanced a lot and really um, being able to have all the newest technology in the same location is, is pretty unique. Uh, usually, if you've got new technology, you have a piece here or a piece there, and then you have some older systems in your fleet. So being able to have the cutting edge and the very latest of everything all at once is a really great opportunity and so much fun. Um, but beyond that, it's been really the people. You know, the, the people are really what make this place what it is. Um, they bring the soul to City of Hope. And without those people, the equipment doesn't mean anything. Um, you can have the, the highest tech things, but if you have people that don't really care about what they're doing, it's not going to perform the way that you want it to perform. Wow, that's that's really um, important, right? The way we treat people and the way our patients feel and their families feel while they're here, right? Um, tell me more about that. So what are you doing to really develop that in your team? I, I hear a lot of great things about you and your leadership style from your team. So I, I would love to understand how you what is your leadership philosophy and how do you really apply that to create an environment where your staff are known and cared for and really engaged so that they can deliver good quality care? Yeah. um, You know, I, I've worked for good leaders. I've worked for bad leaders and it really is, is top down. So um, being able to execute the leadership style that you want to be, to be yourself 
um, really comes from the support that you get above. So um, I feel very supported in this environment to really be myself and be genuine and authentic with my employees. And I think that that's what makes me approachable to them um, and what makes me um, a human, really. You see people who are in leadership positions and oftentimes you see the end result. You don't see the road that it took to get there. Um, and so I think that I bring that to the table where my team can actually think about the road that I was on. And I share with them the road that I was on and the experiences that have led me to where I am today. And not only that, but I think it's important to have representation for my team, right? So representation of women in leadership positions and doing things that are really extraordinary, I think is, is really important for people who are just starting out. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know if that answered your question. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, would you mind sharing us a little bit of that road that you've been on? Yeah, definitely. So I started out as an x-ray technologist um, in Oklahoma City. I worked at the level one trauma center at OU Medical Center. Um, it was the only level one trauma center in the entire state. So we saw everything. Um, that was probably my favorite job before I came here. Um, it was a lot of adrenaline, um, a lot of teamwork, but really a great experience for me. Um, at the same time, I was working in CT. Um, it was a more advanced imaging modality, and I couldn't get a full-time job in it at that point in time. And so I wanted to keep that skill set up so I could leverage it in the future. Um, and then a friend of mine from high school and college um, actually reached out, <laughs> excuse me, and said, hey, I'm going to move to San Francisco you should come too. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'm 25. I don't really have anything holding me back here. So why not? What a great adventure. So I started looking for jobs in San Francisco. Um, I ended up at UCSF Medical Center just by chance. Um, at the time, I didn't realize what an incredible uh, organization I was joining and how much expertise and knowledge and research was going on there. I just thought I was getting another job. So, um, so I started doing CT there. Um, they cross-trained me into MRI. Um, and then that's also where I went into leadership. So I ended up being the practice manager of their outpatient imaging center um, down near the ballpark in San Francisco, which was great. Um, and so shortly after I became a supervisor, I went into a leadership position um, I started my master's degree in business administration. And so once I graduated from that program, um, I actually started looking for jobs down here in Southern California. Um, I had actually met uh, my now husband uh, in San Francisco. He had moved down here to Southern California. And so we decided that we were going to we were going to make it real serious and I was going to move down here. Um, so I was really lucky. I got a job at uh, Children's Health of Orange County. Uh, another place that was really specialized, um, incredible organization with a, a huge mission um, and something really meaningful to the community. Um, I was there for about five years <clears throat> and, um, you know, I, I had gotten really comfortable in my role. Um, I felt really confident. And so I started looking for director positions. I actually applied for the director position at Chalk. It was open um, at shortly before I left. Um, and so they ended up going with an external candidate, um, which was actually uh, worked out well for me because that's when uh, I saw the LinkedIn ad for my, my position now uh, and started looking into this opportunity. So uh, nine interviews later, I was offered the position. Nine Zoom interviews later, I was offered the position. Um, and all of this is going on in the middle of a pandemic, right? So, um, so very unique experience. Um, but yeah, so I, Wendy Austin was my first interview. Um, she made me feel so comfortable. Um, I really, I had a good feeling about it from that point. I got off of that call and told my husband, I was like, I think this might actually be something real. So we might need to talk about this. And, and uh, here you are, you've been called and, and accepted the call and we're so glad that you have. So um, <clears throat> uh, what is the message that you would like to share with our audience today about specialized cancer care here in Orange County and why it's so important. Yeah, definitely. Um, so when City of Hope talks about specialized cancer care and our focus on cancer and, you know, just continues to talk about how um, that's our one thing, 
The reason that's important is because when you're dealing with cancer, you want people who have seen it, right? You don't want it to be the first time. Um, there's, there's something that's really comforting about going to somebody when you know that they've done this a million times before, right? Or um, they've seen the worst possible case of whatever it is that you, you've had, or they've seen every complication of what it, whatever your complication is. Um, and so that really does a lot to put your mind at ease. And, and it also does a lot to um, relieve any barriers to your care or any delays in addressing those things. So mm -hmm. rather than going somewhere that does a little bit of everything, they're doing trauma, they're doing ob they're doing you know whatever the other services are that are they're definitely important for the community, um, but, but they don't have the opportunity to really focus on the nuances of oncology and of cancer care. So when you come somewhere that does just that, uh, a lot like Children's Health of Orange County did just pediatrics, right? You, you don't always take your kid to an adult hospital. You, you choose to take them to a pediatric hospital for a reason, right? Um, so same thing for oncology. It's really that expertise and that um, seeing this thing over and over and over again in so many different forms that really brings a lot of value to the care that the patient receives. Thank you, Jessica. So the hard question, what does hope mean to you? So this is, um, I've been asked this in different forms over the past two years. Um, and I think my answer has probably been different every time. Um, but to me, I guess the best way to explain it is hope is the idea that something's possible. Hope is the idea that, um, that despite whatever is stacked up against you, um, you can still succeed and you can still overcome that obstacle. Mm, I love that. Yeah, it's what's to come, right? We have to focus on that. And there's an element of faith involved there as well, right? It's what's possible. Right. Jessica, thank you so much. Um, I, I wanna go back to something else you talked about earlier too. You talked about representation. So um, I, I'd like to hear a little bit more about that. Why is representation so important? Sure. Um, so we actually had an employee um, say to one of my managers, that she, um, she's a, a staff technologist and she had mentioned to her manager that um, in her previous roles, she had never really thought that she would pursue anything beyond being a staff technologist, which is great. We need people who wanna really just specialize in taking care of patients and in the imaging and, and whatnot. But seeing myself and seeing Annette Walker and seeing Wendy Austin and Cynthia Powers um, being in our positions that we have and bringing what we have to the table um, really made her rethink that and think about maybe there's more opportunities for me. Maybe I'm not reaching high enough for myself mm. um, because the, the environment she had come from was all male, right? So she hadn't even, hadn't even really thought about that she could, she could accomplish more. So I think just seeing people who are like yourself in one way or another, whether it be your gender or um, the way you think or, you know, wh whatever the, the similarity is, really helps you to see um, the opportunities that you can pursue and the things that you can accomplish. It makes those things a reality in your mind. So back to the idea of what's possible, right? The mm -hmm. idea of hope. Yeah. Well, we are recording this uh, during uh, International Women's Week um, uh, for Women's History Month as well. So um, I echo your sentiments. We have a lot of great women that work with us on this team, and I think we're really blessed by the level of leadership and the level of um, quality of human being that we have right among our team. So um, Jessica Patel, Director of Diagnostic Radiology, thank you for your time and thank you all for listening today. Uh, until next time, I'm Darren Godden, and this is Talking Hope. Thank you all for listening to Talking Hope, where breakthrough conversations about preventing, treating, and curing cancer have been brought to you by City of Hope, an NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. This is the hope you've been waiting for. For more information, visit cityofhope.org forward slash OC, or make an appointment at any of City of Hope's five Orange County locations, including City of Hope, Orange County, Lenar Foundation Cancer Center, the most advanced cancer treatment center in Orange County. Call 888-333-4673.
That's 888-333-HOPE.